Did it snow, Didge? <laughs> Well, it's pretty, but I guess I gotta get to work on it. Time to bust out the snow removal, snow, snow removal solutions machine. That's the name I gave it, because it sounds more official. Everything has to be a solution nowadays, right? Snow removal solutions machine, or Sursum. We need a million, Anna. We're just not quite there. Five hours of snow removal is finished for now. Now I gotta go to hockey. Hopefully I have a voice tomorrow. Some exciting stuff is gonna happen today. Good morning, Anna. My voice is about 80% back. It's not all there, but it's close. Since it's below zero right now, and it's not really supposed to get any warmer today, I'm gonna make sure that we do all of our work inside. And that work consists of making this pink semi-truck turn red again. So I'm gonna move a few things around here. Unfortunately, I am gonna have to open the door, but I wanna get that truck front and center here so that we have enough room to work around it. Now this truck got brand new batteries last week and it's got a disconnect switch that I switched off it obviously doesn't have the tarp plugged in. It's been sitting in a heated shed here. Let's make sure this thing starts. Also, I got a lot of comments from guys talking about a gear reduction starter. I kind of think that's on my plan. I should do that to both these T800s along with some new cables. I think she's gonna fire. Nope, definitely need a gear reduction starter. Unreal. I did lie, this one doesn't have the disconnect switch. I don't even roll the extension cords up anymore. Oh, I'm sick of it. Yeah, new cables, maybe add a fourth battery. This truck has never had four batteries, but we could get four in there. New cables, disconnect switch, gear reduction, new starter. And if that doesn't fix it, we'll just keep dealing with it. Yeah, I spend a lot of time moving equipment around, particularly in the winter, but when I'm the only one here, it takes a little while. And when you have winters as cold and miserable as we do, you just want everything indoors as much as you can. There's a little bit of water on that tarp, I see. But when you have everything indoors and you have a specific project you want to work on, you want it in like the main area of the shop, so just one of those things. At least I don't have cattle to feed or chickens to milk or hogs to shear anything like that let's see if it'll if it'll go yet i think we'll put it on the boosty boost to try to burn the batteries up you know the other thing i should have done probably is set that charger on 10 amp overnight to charge them all to full when they were new which i didn't do i did run the truck some but i should have done that come on oh boy there he is zach with a k I'll be Zach with an H. There you go. What's going on? Not too bad, are you? Not bad. Yeah. Can, can we fix that? You can certainly try. Uh, we don't have to fix the battery or the electrical system or anything like that. We might make it shine. We'll try it. Maybe we can make it look like a truck that starts? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> no guarantees. Is it farther gone than you thought? It is a little bit. Yeah. But I think we might be able to bring some life back to it. So we spent an appropriate amount of time BSing to start things up here while the battery charger worked and it still didn't fire, so. <laughs> Zach says we got room to work on it around there, so we're just gonna run it right there. Which means I'll shut these things off and probably start them halfway through our project just to make sure they're gonna start again. 
Not because I'm worried about dead batteries, but because when it's below zero, tractors get cold quick and diesel engines don't really love that temperature. I got the time lapse rolling, so my work here is done. Perfect. You have fun. <laughs> I don't know if the camera picks it up or not, but there is a little bit of a difference there from, from where, the way it was. A little bit. A little bit. So how many of a step process is this today? Uh, it's gonna be two. Two steps. One with a cutting compound. Which is this? Which is this, the white, and then one with a machine polish, which is the gray. Fender one's looking pretty good, but the guy won't let me help him. So I've, I'm kind of just awkwardly, I'm the kid with the camera again. I won't even let him buy lunch. I <laughs> know he won't, I offered lunch twice. <laughs> and he won't let me buy it. I guess I'll buy lunch for myself and then Anna and I can clean the end of the shop here where it really needs it anyway. I'm gonna turn the heat up though. A little chilly in here. Oh. Al, our T800s are hard starting and they drain the batteries like you wouldn't believe. So what I'm thinking is, it sounds like we can get a gear reduction started for those things and maybe I should put on some new cables. Knowledgeable truck guy says I gotta start by checking for a draw first, which would make sense. Pretty obvious there, so I guess we'll do that. We'll check for a draw. He is gonna order a starter because I told him what it's doing. He said we'll put a starter on it. He didn't think, he thought the cables are probably fine, so I guess we'll start with draws and starter for now. So this exhaust on the Moline, it's, uh, it's broken down there and it's been re-welded a couple of times. But every time a building falls on this tractor, that breaks. So look at what we got. I'm probably not gonna put it on today, but we have it and we will put it on. And it's only ever been two buildings that have fallen on this tractor. The last one was the one that the storm took out that we just replaced here, uh, happened 10 months ago. And uh, the first one was the old building that used to stand right here. It was actually an old galvanized hog building that was open to the east. We got an ice storm back in 2013, and it came down. This tractor was in there. Again, no damage. Two buildings, no damage. Now, I can't say for sure, but I think, I think the split from where he's done and hasn't done is kind of right down the center of the hood there. Is that right? I think. It's right down the middle? Can you tell? I can't say for sure. Okay. You ever make jokes about like waxing big pink units for other guys or? <laughs> I didn't think you were going to tell me to come and fuck your big red rocket. <laughs> <laughs> Grow up. I was just asking an honest question. It's snowing out here again, Anna. You notice that too, huh? Well, it's a nice snow. Just a nice kind of peaceful, not 40 mile an hour winds and ice with it. That's a welcome change. I'm going to go grab some lunch. And I did offer Zach lunch twice. He won't take it, he won't accept it. He said he's, he's good, he's got a Snickers bar. You know, relatively quiet in the live cattle market. So last week's cash cattle uh, price came in just a tick lower than, than what it had the previous week. Let's see if we can make this work. <clears throat> oh, look at that. Temperatures dangerous, wind chills Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. We'll see wind chill values in the 20s down to the 40s below zero. Is that the second? No, it's still the first. Still the first, the first pass. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's a whole different truck there. So that's metal instead of fiberglass. Do you use anything different? Nope. Same exact stuff. Same thing. Uh, so this is all the same exact stuff that I was using when I was doing auto body work when we cut and buff a car after we painted. Yeah. So this is the same, same product that I used on freshly painted vehicles when I was painting cars. Well, here's your check in with Cat Dog. Cat dog's doing well. He's getting kind of old for this farm. Usually they don't last this long. Well, Zach with a K works on that truck. I think I got a plan for something I want to mess with here, moving a little bit more snow. And also putting that power lift door to the test a little bit more. I have not had the new door open since the snow came. Now I moved snow in front of it right here where I'm walking, but 
there's a pretty good ledge right here and this was heavy wet snow well we've been really cold now so this stuff is set up that's that's a really hard ledge right here we've got this big brace that runs along the front of this door I'm gonna see how it does and according to the weather channel here it's eight degrees so let's see how this cold oil opens this monster door this oil is probably colder than that because it was well below zero overnight in this morning so and open it up look at that no issues so I'm gonna come by with the snow removal solutions machine and scrape some of this out of here oh I wonder if that's a concern I'm gonna say yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna yeah I don't want that up there at all right in the middle like that well, that's a lesson learned when we have icy snow we better watch for that that isn't a lot of weight but it couldn't be good for it just knock that off of there when it came down it was mixed with a lot of rain so a lot of it really set up hard I guess I better watch that that looks much better yeah I like that a lot more Yeah, that looks a lot better. Um, I haven't seen any questions about why these flags are here, right in the way, but I'll answer that. It's because there's a water line down there. There used to be a hydrant out here on the corner of the old building. Well, now we want that hydrant around the corner, but next year we're gonna kind of landscape this out here, bring the fuel barrels that are on the other side of the yard now over to here, and then we're gonna have the fuel barrels probably like a, a little uh, nozzle island or a hose island where the fuel barrels are we're gonna put the hydrant over there then we'll get rid of those flags and where the old bin was we're gonna replace that with a new bin a big bin 60 feet wide by I think 15 rings tall it's gonna hold 140,000 bushels Still snowing out here, a little bit. We're gaining. You're gaining. Look at it, it even like it reflects the lights in the windows. <laughs> I really thought he'd want some help with that, but I guess not. He's got it under control. I had to run in the new shop here and grab a buffer. We use this for actually grinding race car tires. But I had to grab it for Zach over there because his somehow magically started to only work when it's horizontal, not vertical. So he's gonna change out the end here because you definitely don't wanna use a 36 grit sandpaper on that paint. And we technically use a buffer on the race car tires, not a grinder because it's got this handy little speed dial on it so you can slow it down. A grinder goes way too fast and melts the rubber. This you can slow down and just scratch the top make yourself a little faster. If you want to learn more about that, check out our second channel, Between the Rows. It's linked below. Shameless plug. You're gonna have to show them though so they believe me. Oh. You wanna show them? No. <laughs> a neat trick. It is a neat trick, yeah. I told you. Is that one gonna work? That one's gonna work just fine. Awesome. It actually works both ways. Both directions? Both and upside down. Yeah, I requested that when we ordered okay. it. I should probably fire up the 8295 here too and let this idle just a little bit. Otherwise it gets too cold and then I gotta drag a heater cord over here and a, probably a battery charger and I don't wanna do any of that. I didn't record it but it fired for five seconds and then quit on me. I'll bet the fuel in the lines is that cold. I can't run it in either with the grain cart on it. I need to, this is a long rig and I don't have a spot in the shed to pull it that far in right now. 
Well, it seems like it's running okay, so it's probably a good thing I started it. was getting a little tight for comfort. I, I want to be over a ways, but not not that not that far of a ways. Okay, we'll re-angle and try this again. So I want it over, but but not to the point where I'm tearing the door off. He says we're good. That's good. Whoa! There's the second special celebrity guest appearance of the day. Hi. What's going on? In my sunglasses. To look at the truck? That's fancy. Yeah. Oh, we just got it today. Nice. Yeah. Zach's been building it all day. That does look so much nicer. I guess it does look a little different. <laughs> <laughs> just for the gram. Yeah, just for the gram. Well, I'd say overall that, that's not bad. It definitely looks more red than pink now. I'll accept that. Good. And you went all day, you didn't eat anything. Your Snickers laid on the tailgate of the Ranger all day long? Yeah, it's, it's a supper. Now, supper or maybe tomorrow's lunch. Breakfast. Breakfast? So Zach here, he doesn't have anything he wants me to plug other than Colt's birthday. There so I go. gotta say happy birthday, Colt. And you can follow Zach on Instagram. Zmoan14. Zmoan14, M-O-E-N? M-O-E-N. Well, that's it. You were gonna hit the lights? There you go. Go now. Go. Go on. It's cold out here. Really cold out here. Luckily, it's only supposed to get about 20 degrees colder yet tonight. Seems like Zach's uh, truck is in reverse. Hey, you're going the wrong way. Yeah, my headlights went off. Really? Yeah. Huh. Well, he unplugged them and plugged them back in. I don't know. They're working now. I think Cat Dog fixed them. Now he said he actually replaced them just last night, put LEDs in there, and they were working this morning. They're working right now. I don't know. It's a lot colder out this morning, girls. 11 degrees below the donut right now. Fahrenheit. I have to clarify the Fahrenheit deal because a lot of people think 11 degrees below is not that cold. Well, it is in Fahrenheit. It's pretty chilly. A little nippy out. Come on in, Didge. So this morning, I've got to meet for the final meeting with our Morton Shed sales guy. Um, give him a check. We're gonna inspect the building a little bit, make sure that everything is up to par and exactly the way that we want it, and he's all paid. And since I'm in here staying warm before he shows up, I'm just gonna come admire this semi-truck right here. I feel like I didn't inspect it enough on video last night, so I thought I'd come show you guys. Uh, Zach actually worked Several years at a body shop just south of us about an hour. Um, I know the owner of the shop I kind of know Zach a little bit used to race late models against his brother And I feel bad. I kind of just left him in here working, but it seemed like that's what he wanted to, wanted to do So I mean he did a heck of a job. This is Exactly what we wanted. He thought actually when he got to it. It was coming off fairly easily He thought that it might have been like a soap scum from something We washed it with once that maybe dried on there and it wasn't so much from uh, from the sunshine. But now the problem is I feel like I definitely got to do something with the rims. Maybe should have the tank polished. You know, like the, the, the whole grill could look a little bit better, everything that's not red. But where do you stop? Ultimately, it's almost a 20-year-old truck. It's not a show truck. It is a farm truck. But boy, it would look nice with some rims and a tank polishing and maybe some of the other stuff here. I don't know, I'll think on that. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know. I think we could update the headlights too, put in some bright LED headlights. We could make this a pretty, pretty rocking unit and then we'll get to work on the second one that's identical, but a lot chalkier. I did wanna hit on the fact that it is winter now. Obviously our harvest is over, our fields are frozen solid. Life changes for me a lot. There's a lot less going on in the farm. Jim's not out here much, uh, neither is dad for that matter. We do have some grain that we're gonna haul uh, in January for sure and in February, so we'll be busy doing some of that. But if you guys are looking for some content, a little bit more content, because this channel is going to be a little slower through the winter as it always has been, 
Uh, you can head over to our second channel, which is linked below called Between the Rows. We have like 10, probably 10 or so race track videos from the racetracks throughout the summer that have not been edited and posted over there yet. So go check that out if you're interested. If you're into that kind of thing, you can check out our second channel. We'll probably do some snowmobile stuff over there. Um, I picked up a new sled, which you guys have seen, so I'm hoping that we can get out and do that a lot. We end up way busier than we should be in the winter time, which is odd because we don't have livestock, so I couldn't even tell you for sure what we're always doing, but it seems like as a family anyway, we are always really busy. We seem to find plenty of stuff to fill our time. On top of that, um, if you didn't see it on my other social medias, Becky and I or our family here, we are part of a group that recently purchased a shooting park. We bought Alexandria Shooting Park in Alexandria, Minnesota. It is a legit trap shooting field right now. There are 20 trap stations. It holds the single largest shooting event in the nation every summer uh, with the high, Minnesota State High School shoot. If you guys, there's probably a lot of guys uh, and girls watching that have been there before. So hopefully we'll see you there next summer. We plan or we hope anyway over time to add a lot to that field and we're hoping we can really Make it a dynamic place, make it a fun place to be, a fun place to go, kind of a destination type of place. Maybe add, we're definitely gonna add some archery, some five stand stuff, potentially some sporting clay stuff, maybe a pistol range, rifle range. But uh, for now, we're gonna, we're gonna take it slow at the moment and try to figure out what we've got. But there will be some of that over on the second channel as well. So be sure to check that out. It should be linked below. Otherwise, I thank you guys very much for watching and Keep it between the rows. You want to say thanks for watching? No? She, she doesn't talk. She's a cat.